My name is Mark Hoekstra, and I'm from geektechnique.org. That's my personal site. Um, only a few weeks ago, I showed how you can uh, change the memory in your iPod Mini from uh, hard drive to compact flash. Um, now, in, only in this particular case, that was quite easy to do. Uh, the pinout is the same. Uh, but since it has been so popular, it has been on the front page of Big and, and Gadget, for instance, I thought, well, how about the normal normal iPod? Uh, this is a 4G photo, um, and this has a hard drive like this inside. Now, I've been investigating this, um, and the pinout isn't the same. So you can't put a compact flash card just straight in. But it would be wonderful if we still uh, could put some kind of flash memory inside these iPods. I mean, a lot of people have these. The form factor is great. It's, well, it's the iPod, uh, I guess. Um, and uh, there are still a lot around. Only hard drives break down uh, because it's a mechanical thing. It has moving parts inside. So, oh, moves. So, and this is static memory, which doesn't have any moving parts inside. Now, I've been um, I've been busy with this quite some days now, and I can show you another 4G iPod now. It's this one. I will show it on the camera. Well, you can see it uh, it works, and I will try to show the inside now. This has taken me a lot of time to make. Well, as you can see, there's a compact flash card inside. Now it's 4 gig, but it could be anything, up to 128 gigs, just like the iPod Mini. And well, just to show you, this isn't a hoax or anything. Uh, you can see there's no there's no way here, there's a hard drive inside this one. Um, only thing is, this isn't very easy to do. Now I won't exaggerate my own skills or anything, but this has taken me a long time to make, and took uh, 88 uh, hand soldered connections, very tiny to get it inside the iPod. Well, this will click perfectly down, um, so it, it, it will fit. Um, but I got another idea. Uh, I want to uh, I want to get this adapter into production. So anyone with skills or without skills in soldering is able to get this as an upgrade to their beloved 4G, 3G, 2G or 1G iPod. Uh, actually, every iPod with a hard drive, except the video. The video would be possible also, but it would take just another adapter. And at this point, I think one adapter for this whole series of iPods would be great. So that way, we can remove the hard drive and put back in flash memory. Now, at this moment, 16 gigs is already a quite an expensive card, but only in, let's say, a couple of months, 32, 64, or 128 gigs will be available to the market, and they will drop down in price uh, through time. So at one point, you can just take your old iPod and the adapter and a 64 or 128 gig card and put it in, and you get a, an iPod which is better than the original, with better battery, better battery life, no moving parts, this has moving parts, this hasn't. Um, so, what I want you to do, if you like the idea as much as I do, is put down your mail address on my site, uh, and I will contact you with only one mail. I'm not going to spam or anything. I will only send you one mail as soon as I have this adapter available to the market. Um, I will do whatever it takes to get this to the market, because I have been searching for these adapters, all kinds of adapters exist on eBay except this one, so we're just going to make it. Um, I think that's about it.
for more information, visit geektechnique.org. Um, and I hope you can show me your support uh, if you want to buy this in a couple of months' time. A couple of months' time. I'm sorry for my English. Um, now, I won't go all art labative on you guys, so this will hit the market for a reasonable price in a reasonable time. Uh, thank you all and goodbye.